Hey guys, welcome back. So this week I'll be reacting to Do Revenge, and without further ado, let's jump right into the video. His unibrow is a mile long. <laughs> it's starting to give me flashbacks from my middle school days. <laughs> Does anyone else hate PDA? <laughs> PDA just makes me so ridiculously uncomfortable. It doesn't matter if it's in real life or in a movie. Even something as simple as a kissing scene just makes me, ugh, you know? No, not her. Her. Sorry. The accuracy of that shot? <laughs> she didn't give a fuck about that girl's hand. I don't do cocaine! I don't even know what it looks like! I don't know what it looks like! The intensity of that yell. <laughs> How did she not flinch when someone is full-blown screaming at her like that? Uh, Rose Hill's Royal Court. The cream of the incredibly entitled crop. I love the uniforms, they're just so pretty. The colors and how everyone's uniform differs in some way to give them all like a sense of individuality so all the characters don't just blend in. It's so pretty and it goes so well with everything. I'll let a silly video stand between me and Yale. I just wanna say I hope we can move on and just be civil this year. You know, especially now that Tara and I are dating. He is an awful person, <laughs> but her friend is also an awful person. For one, dating her friend's ex behind her back. And for two, dating someone who did that to her supposed best friend. Oh. That is such a pet peeve of mine. <laughs> I hate when people clap like that. It looks so stupid. Like, what are you doing? Why are you doing this? It's honestly just making me want to backhand her. And I already want it to backhand her. So the feeling is just more intense now. Personal for a minute. Get personal, man. Last year... My intimate exchanges made their way into the world. It was a violation of my privacy. He has a stupid face. A stupid little rat face, and I hope someone punches him in his stupid little rat face. Come on. <laughs> cozy. This is so cute. Yeah. Thanks. Are they trying to flirt with her? Are they both? trying to get with her right now because if so i completely understand and want to be in on it i want to join <laughs> prefer playfully omitted mm. a few weeks at rose and you got a whole new look now huh look at how they're talking to each other look at how they're sitting <laughs> they're giving off so much sexual tension to the point where you know they're probably going to become a couple later, or at least do something else, even if it doesn't lead to a relationship. I don't want any of this. I would love to backpack across Europe with my camera. Just blow up my whole life. I would, because all this shit, like, it's so performative. I hate that guys are starting to talk like this now. It doesn't sound good. It doesn't sound attractive. It sounds like gravel in a garbage disposal. They really just sound like the girl from the ring. <laughs> Is it just me? Or does this scene look a lot like the paintball scene from 10 Things I Hate About You? Because it looks a lot like it. If it's a little reference thrown in there, then I approve and I love it. <laughs> Well, they certainly didn't move that fast in 10 Things I Hate About You. But then again, that was from like early 2000s, so. Now the founder of the cis-hetero men championing female identifying students league, Max Broussard. I can't tell if this movie is being serious with all of this woke ally stuff, or if it's all just satire to make fun of the Gen Z audience, because this movie is more going towards the Gen Z audience. About loving ourselves and, and uh, so we have 
why do movies and shows always do a mass text to the whole school? Who has the entire school's phone number? Who has everyone in the school's phone numbers? Most likely no one. <laughs> Is that Cher's outfit? Or is that a reference to Cher's outfit from Clueless? I love that movie. Clueless is such a good movie. I wonder how many other <laughs> references I've missed, because I've caught two of them. And if there's two, then there's most likely a lot more that I just didn't notice. Go ahead and let me know in the comments what references I missed and make fun of me for being stupid. This is your one and only chance to make fun of me for being stupid because I'm incredibly intelligent, as I'm sure you've all noticed. Did you even remember that it was my birthday? No. Well, that is the only reason why they became friends. <laughs> so why is she surprised by that? She's literally getting exactly what she signed up for. Because he leaked that video, Eleanor. He leaked that video. Are you sure? There's never been any evidence. Well, considering they weren't real friends, I don't see why she's mad, and I don't see why she's expecting more from someone who she's not actually friends with. And just because you're mad doesn't mean you can say something that's a really painful thing for someone, i.e. her sex tape. Okay, in my opinion, that's way worse than forgetting someone's birthday. She certainly remembers you. It's kind of hard to forget your first crush. She was sort of my first girlfriend, back when she went by Nora. Nora? Yeah, Nora. The amount of sexual tension between the entirety of the cast is amazing. It really seems like everyone just wants to sleep with everyone. <laughs> and I honestly didn't see the twist coming. I thought it was very well done. It was very subtle, and I guess just a flawless twist. So, good for them. Was all this a little crazy? Sure. But I'm a teenage girl. We're psychopaths. I don't like that line. Movies always try to make teenage girls seem like they're insane, and they're not. She is. But not all of them are. Look at her! Having a little joker moment. <laughs> Also, she very clearly has feelings for her, which is very fitting because the Joker and Batman also have feelings for each other. What? That is way too much. That is way too extra. She tried to kill her because of a rumor she made up in middle school. A rumor that most people probably know is fake. She needs some serious therapy. And a Xanax. A few Xanaxes. I have a present for you. Is there a camera on that brooch? Yeah. But it matches your dress, so. I think Nora should be bullied. Not a lot, just a little bit. Because she did, after all, try to murder her. So she deserves to be bullied a little bit, because that's awful and psychotic. Is that awful to say? Probably. But I stand by it. We used to call her nosy Nora. Oh my god, yes! Yes, yes Nora! Nora. Yes. Every character in this movie is a terrible person, especially the main three people, the two main girls and the rat face boy. They're all horrible people and they're all honestly kind of insane. I really do love how the insanity of all of them isn't shown at first, and then the more you watch of the movie, the more you get like subtle hints of, oh well that's a little, that's a little crazy, but it's whatever. And then the more, or as the movie goes on more and more, they just become more and more psychotic. <laughs> and I love it. I just thought it was so well done. And I love how instead of the main female characters being, you know, good people doing bad things for a good cause, they're honestly just crappy people doing crappy things for a somewhat okay cause. 
Wow. <laughs> what a heartwarming display of female friendship. I'm cavelling. Did you just enter doing a slow clap? I loved the outfits in this show. The outfits are so pretty. There were definitely some questionable and downright hideous outfits. But the majority of them were very nice outfits. Um, except for what he's wearing. He looks like a drug dealer. A drug dealer that you would see at a beach. <laughs> you know, the type of dude who you would just see doing coke while surfing. <laughs> no? Just me? Just I think that? Okay. I did not think I was going to like this movie, but I actually liked it. Will I ever watch it again? Probably not. <laughs> but I do think it was a good movie. It was decently funny, it was subtle, it was downright psychotic. <laughs> and overall just a good movie. But go ahead and let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of this video, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye!